Oh yes, I remember now. <clears throat> the part you play. So there's something I need to explain. So, humans have been here for 6,000 years. And the plan was for them to <laughs> sin, error, go downhill, see what it's, see what's happened, that we've sinned and error, we've gone downhill, and then ascend back up. So, and, and what has happened is this, this is our, this is our souls exploring and seeing, seeing the results. So everyone individually will have this in their own life as well. You'll, you'll sin and error, you'll, you'll realise it, it's sending you downhill and then you'll, you'll um, you know, eventually at some point start to come up. Uh, and what, what, what we're seeing in humanity, so the part you play, if you like, is an accumulation of all of the past, right from the very beginning. And the reason so many people find it difficult to believe in God is that because of the first sin was, we don't need God. So you've got in your genetics, in your DNA, um, a trigger basically on your soul going you don't need God, don't need God, don't need God, don't need God so it's difficult for you to think that you do need God but there isn't a genetic thing going you don't need a saviour, you don't need a saviour and a you know, and that's what God has done with, with the Christs. Every thousand years, start, well, starting at zero, because Adam would have been a Christ. So he's making, so it makes it seven, if you like. Krishna is the next one, and that's probably where the Christ word comes from. Then Abraham, David, Jesus. Or Yeshua, Francis, Sisi, and Stephen of Bodicut. <laughs> Probably. Unless anyone else wants to jump in the ring, <laughs> have a battle of wits, of words. Because I think I'd win, but we'll see. You know. Anyway, so. What what is that? What is the Christ? And I've been kind of narrowing it down. Immaculate conception or half immaculate conception. God made the sperm, chose the woman, and at that point where the sperm goes into the egg and the spark happens and the, the two DNAs, if you like, decide what the DNA is going to be. The God's DNA from the sperm will override, you know, God can make it so it would be dominant. You know, the truth would be dominant, so the true, you know, that we do need God, you know, and you wouldn't have this, we don't need God in the gene. Because I've, you know, in my life, I've never had this issue. And since having thought of this, I have spoken to people and I have sensed this sort of thing in people. And it does sort of explain things in my own life for how they've been, how they've been. And anyway, that's my life. I'm talking about yours. So, but my soul is no different. So when that when that spark happened and the sperm and the egg you know started dividing, that's when a soul would attach to the body, I guess. 
and become aware for the first time. So my soul is the same as anyone, but I got this body. This was the this was the the life I got. And you you got yours. And there would be a reason for it. It would suit the personality of your soul and you might be someone who's taken the rough knocks, more rough knocks more hardship, but if that's the case you will be compensated and you probably are at night time, you probably are compensated at night and those of you who've got like all the luxury and everything else you know you you probably you'll be compensated for that, you probably don't sleep well at all <laughs> it will you know because what really we should say to our kids when they start to understand us is that you have an eternal soul and to learn <coughs> learn about your soul is what you need to do you need to feel everything that comes to you and if it's bad emotion feel the bad emotion of course it's easy to feel the good emotions we quickly feel them but the thing is, we should just feel it all because God's trying to, you know, what the the lesson is. It's it's feel this, feel this. This is your soul. This is what this feels like. And then then you can choose. I don't want to do things anymore that make me feel sad. So you choose the right things, and you you can then get the good emotions. But when you try and push away sad emotions or whatever they'll never go away they'll keep coming back and your law of attraction will create more things stronger things to keep telling you until you hear <laughs> it's true <laughs>